Hi guys. I decided to vlog today. I posted on my new personal Instagram page that I wanted to start posting again on my lifestyle YouTube channel. So you guys should definitely go follow me on that page. I'm at um, Liv Beerman. That's my full name for those of you who don't know. Uh, and people, oh, I was surprised at the amount of people who said they wanted vlogs because I've never felt like my <laughs> vlogs are very good. I feel like I have a lot to share. Um, during COVID, I got super into like fitness and working out. So I definitely want to just like talk more about that. Show you guys what I do because like it's nothing crazy. And it's totally doable for anyone who wants to start working out and stuff. Also, I got really into like fashion and styling outfits and also just talking about like skincare and makeup and hair. I thought that I would start a vlog today. It's Friday, it's gray, but we just had the most amazing weather for the last two days. So I feel like that's kind of like holding me over and I'm in a great mood today anyway, even though it's like gonna rain really soon and it's really gross out. Um, I wanted to show you my cute workout outfit because having this on today has made me just like in the best mood. These are the TNA Butter leggings from Aritzia, the matching like mini bra top. And then this little top is called the Sweet Soul Top from Princess Polly. Super stretchy knit and it's like not super soft, but it's great quality. Like it ha it's not like picking or anything. Um, and I love like how it looks over top of something like this. I feel like this is like the most perfect outfit for we're gonna start walking downtown in the summer and like walking to coffee shops and stuff now that things are open again. And this is like the perfect thing to throw on after a walk or like during a walk just to cover up so you're not half naked downtown. So look at our new art. So these are by a um, Toronto artist here in Canada. So we have that one of Mac Miller, who is one of our faves. And of course, Queen Lana. Um, okay, so this is semi-active. I honestly think I'm just gonna do, maybe I'll do this one. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this Pilates. It's 32 minutes, so see how this goes. I didn't vlog yesterday. It ended up being like a really cloudy day. So we didn't do a whole lot. I decided to film today. It's so beautiful out. It's 4 p.m. and we're going to my parents' house for a little barbecue. I made myself this necklace today and I'm so proud. Let me know if you guys want me to make you some. I used to be like super, super, super crafty when I was younger. Like I was always making friendship bracelets and when I was young we had this um, store in the mall called South of the Border where you could literally like go they had the most beautiful beads they had like bulk beads in these like huge trays and they were sold by the bead and you could just pick out whatever ones you wanted and I was so obsessed with going there and like picking out the most beautiful beads and making like hemp bracelets and stuff and I was never one for going outside and like riding my bike around or bringing a ball to a field and hanging out with friends like I always just kind of wanted to be like home doing my thing and that usually was like arts and crafts <laughs> so I was having a moment today and I was just like I don't know, ever since I started my own business and like started my YouTube, I kind of become just a different person as I've grown up basically. And I was trying to think of like the kind of things that I used to do for fun when I was younger. And I remembered jewelry making and I made this and I love how it turned out. I'm gonna do some other styles, some like smaller pearls and like some less colorful, more like neutral ones. But if you guys think that I should make these for you, if you guys wanna buy some, let me know because then we can all be matching and be so cute. I've seen these all over Etsy and I always wanted to order one, but every time I go to order, it's like only two left and then I it ends up getting taken out of my cart or something. So I decided to just try and make it and I feel like I've just needed a very like chill, meditative hobby to do. Anyway, so we're gonna go to my parents and have a barbecue. So I'll bring my camera. Go find Greg, put a shirt on top of this. <laughs> hey, you baby. Oh, you're so cute. And this is my left one. Come here. Come here. Hi. She's like, no cameras, mom.
snowy. There you go. <laughs> What's going on? Popcorn, chips, cherries. Oh, Chloe's here. We got Thank iced you. tea. Hi, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Chloe has like three teas. She's 14. You're a cutie. No? She knew that you had said no. Water to melt, to be so honest. So she said. 14 on Sunday. I've got my workout gear on because I'm going to do a semi active video. I think I'm going to do the one because I've already done them all so far. So I kind of have just been like picking and choosing the ones I want to do instead of going through and doing every single one again because now I don't do it every single day. I kind of like alternate it with walking. So I think I'm going to do um, a bar slash cardio one. Actually, I'll see if I can find it. So this one's 40 minutes, so I should really get on this. So yeah, this is kind of what it's like. Greg's family is coming over today um, around 10 for coffee, and his mom is like into all the same coffee drinks as me, like sweet lattes with caramel and all the good stuff. So we're gonna have that and hang out and then I think we're gonna do a big grocery shop because I cleaned out the whole fridge yesterday. But it's so clean, like I pulled out all the drawers, like lifted out all the glass things, washed them all in the sink, let them dry in the sun, reorganized the shelves and labeled the shelves so that we put the same things in the same spot every time so that we like are never, something doesn't go missing in the back of the fridge, you know? And yeah, so now we're gonna go to the grocery store and restock it. So we'll probably do that once they leave. I woke up so excited today and I was like, why do I have that excited feeling? Do you ever do that? You wake up and you're like, there's something I'm excited about but I don't remember what it is and you're all like disoriented. It was my necklaces. I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna do this so that I have time to shower before they come. Show you some snippets of what it's like in case anybody has been curious about the semi-active program. I'll also show you actually like, because obviously I don't have a bar in my house. So I literally just come to the counter here and like use this as the bar. There's a lot of things where you're like leaning. So that's really helpful. And then I'll put my yoga mat like right here. Cute. Please, do you have good breakfast? Uh, make sure the chair's pushed up. Bend up your right knee. Yep, tummy nice and tight, shoulders down away from the ears. Drive that right knee back and up. And then pull it all the way down, knees touch. Yep, she'll be burning already. <laughs> There's a world inside my head. I get lost in me from time to time. I de-sweated myself, did like literally just like some straightener, bouncy, fluffy waves <laughs> and put on a little outfit. It's hot already. So I have these, I think they're called like the Karma shorts from Maritzia. They're just like super, super soft, thin like Jersey shorts and this little black crop top and this top I got this last year from Maritzia before realizing that you can literally like find this type of thing in a thrift store and pretty much all my other like button downs and stuff are thrifted now but um I did get this one last year and I do really like it but you can definitely find stuff just like this at a thrift store so if you're looking definitely check a thrift store because it would be way cheaper and I put on 
a little bit of makeup. Ooh, should I put on my new necklace? Ooh, yeah, that's cute. I told Greg yesterday that I'm like fully expecting this necklace to break because it's my first one and I did like such a bad job. I first of all like made it too short by this much. It was this much too short. So I had to like add this part. So anyway, I feel like this length is perfect and like just the style, it's just so cute for summer. Um, and I haven't eaten anything yet, I'm like very hungry. But I'm kind of like past the point of hunger where like I'm not super hungry, but then you know it's gonna come back with a vengeance really soon. Hi babe! Hi Riddles! Hi! Wow! That's a big jumpies! Wow! Got an iced coffee station. <laughs> we take a little like way too much joy in this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it always takes a while to like get into the groove of hot weather again just because where I live like it's cold for so long of the year. <laughs> okay I wanted to show you guys the new necklace that I made. Isn't it so pretty? And then this is what the clasp looks like and there's like these little tiny pearls. This one this morning and then it's got like the big pearl there and like little kind of pinkish ones. I love this one. Just got our vaccine. Um, and yesterday I went to the thrift store and I wanted to show you guys what I got. Mostly just kind of like button down things to throw on. So I'm just gonna show you it over this outfit. Okay, this is the first thing. I am so obsessed. This is the only like non button down. It's got these like cool puffy sleeves. It's kind of big, it's like long, but it has um, kind of like the ribbed hem. Oh, it's like so cute for the cottage or for the summer, just throwing on. I feel like this is kind of super on trend right now, like something that looks like it could be from your dad's closet. Super, super soft, has no stains or anything. The next one is just this like black, um, kind of like Hawaiian print top. This is so cute as like a beach cover up or to wear with an outfit like this. You could also do a little like tie action. So cute. Okay, this one might be my favorite. It's a little like messy from the dryer because I just washed and dried them. Like you can see it's like the woven cotton. This one's also kind of huge, but I kind of love it again just for like throwing on over a swimsuit or like an outfit like this. And Greg can also wear this one too and it looks really cute on him too. This one's pretty similar, but it's actually just more my size. So this is like a really, really super, super nice linen, and you can see it's kind of sheer, like it's really lightweight. Light baby blue and like baby yellow stripes. This one's like really a good length. In the summer, this is literally just my favorite thing to throw on. And I love getting this kind of stuff secondhand because it just already feels like super nice and worn in and soft and cozy. And then, actually I'll just keep this on. So the last thing. Okay, so I've been obsessed with this tote bag ever since I've seen it all over Instagram. And it's from um, Beginning Boutique, which is like an Australian boutique. Looks like this. It's just so like bright and colorful. So cute for summer. Like, I'm obsessed with how colorful and just, like, happy it is. Anyway, but it's, like, $40, and coming from Australia, I didn't end up getting it. I was, like, whatever. And I forgot about it until I went to the thrift store, and I was in the, like, blanket sheet section because I wanted to get a few kind of, like, old sheets and blankets for, like, the beach and stuff because I actually don't have a beach blanket. We always have to use our good ones. And then this pattern caught my eye. I just remembered that tote bag, and I was, like... Oh my god, that's so weird. 
So I found it's literally a fitted sheet. <laughs> but I'm actually quite good at sewing. Like I have a sewing machine and like all the materials. I used to take sewing classes when I was younger. So I'm going to just cut the elastic off of this. And it's like a few yards of fabric and I'm just gonna make myself a tote bag out of it. So I'm literally gonna get like a handmade version of the tote bag that I wanted, but it'll be like unique, one of a kind, you know? Huh? So if you guys know how to sew, don't forget, you don't have to buy fabric from a fabric store. You can like buy sheets, just wash them. I washed this twice and sprayed this like spray that we have for our dogs if they pee on the floor. It's like an enzyme cleaning spray. So I sprayed that all over it and I washed it. And I'm so excited to make myself a tote bag. Anyway, so that's my thrift haul. I have to go do work now. I don't know what we're getting up to today. It's like very hot out, but I didn't really plan anything because I didn't know how we were gonna feel after our vaccines. My arm feels like kind of stiff, but um, yeah. So I think we're just gonna get some work done, take it easy. It's gonna be even hotter tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow we'll do like a late day or something, but okay, bye. Okay, so I was gonna end the vlog, but then I got a package in the mail, so I thought I would just do an unboxing and then end the video here. Um, it is Tuesday, and it's lunchtime. We just finished lunch. I've got my coffee, so I thought I would just do an unboxing on camera to show you what it is. So it's by the brand Be Kind, and this sticker is beautiful, and this box smells really good. Oh, and this is seed paper. Okay, I don't know, you guys have probably seen seed paper before, but it, if you ever see paper that's like all bumpy and has little bumps in it, um, it likely is seed paper, and you can literally plant this in the dirt and it will grow. This one's flowers. I've also had ones that are herbs, I'm pretty sure. So, you've got seed paper, you've got a peel-off mask made from algae with hibiscus and pink clay. Their packaging is gorgeous. This is another peeled off mask. These are so pretty though. I absolutely love how these look. They're gorgeous. Then they included this little candle from Studio Bon Vivant. And this is what smells good. It smells like a spa. Oh. Oh. It's one of those like trendy cool candles. I've wanted one of these for a really long time. Oh my god, I love this. I've wanted one of these actually. It's a like headband thing. Well, okay, I think you're supposed to put it under your hair, but I'm already wearing a headband. So like that, so that when you do masks, it keeps your hair off your face. But I also have wanted one of these for when you, um, just like for when I wash my face, because my hair always gets in it. So thank you. Oh my gosh, okay, so. I'm pretty sure I've shown Squish in videos last summer. We used to have a Squish store here, and then they left. They pieced out during COVID because no one was buying candy. I don't know, but now they're not here anymore, and it's the saddest thing ever. These are like the champagne flavored, white wine flavored, apparently, vegan gummy bears. Squish's vegan candy is like the best. I'm a super gummy person and they have like so many vegan gummies. I guess that means I'll end the video here. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, put them below. I'm going to try and link everything that I can below. Like I'll rewatch this video and then whatever I mention, I'll try and link it. Um, and yeah, I know this vlog spanned over the course of many days, but I was kind of just getting back into the swing of vlogging and it feels like summer just started this weekend so it's just been like kind of hectic kind of trying to get into the groove of like wanting to spend more time outside and go do things and also working and things have been opening up again finally after being closed for so long so we're like seeing people again anyway um but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video many more videos to come on this channel i'm already having the best time with this channel like not having to focus on food and just showing all the lifestyle stuff is a really nice break so i'm having so much fun so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye